Welcome to AB one to one again. This is AB Structures Engineering, and we are still in week four. And this time we'll talk about the flooring system. Now, floors are for for agricultural and biosystems uh, structures can be of different materials or mix. Now, the the importance of a structure that has a floor is uh, the workability or the the uh, allowable uh, operations that can be done in the structure and we have the design considerations as shown okay for economics is that we can simplify and just make use of wood and uh, of wood of soil okay that is compacted uh, for aesthetics and durability okay there's there's available the wood parquet or tiles and even um, concrete, okay? There's also for function, and it's against the protection against vermin, uh, rodents, and similar pests, or it can be even further thermally insulated. There's also the factor of our design consideration of hygiene and sanitation, and it's our desire for an easy to clean and wash uh, floor system. Now, uh, durable surfaces at ground level grade are already adequate for most uh, farm activities, but uh, the differences in various farm operations would require different uh, floor grades, okay? And we have here solid or grade floors uh, that a requirement is the level should be 150 millimeters or that is 15 centimeters above the ground level of the surrounding area and another consideration or uh, um, suggestion or recommendation is the removal of the topsoil so that a coarse material is introduced or replaced uh, of the topsoil such as a gravel aggregate, okay, before the uh, concreting or uh, this, uh, introduction of soil that is devoid of organic matter, because the topsoil could usually or often is often um, it's it's filled up of uh, organic mat material. And there are two types of flooring. These are solid grade floors, meaning they're built on the ground, just on top of the ground. And there are suspended or above grade floors. And it's, this is with uh, the use of joists or beams. Now the solid grade floors can be just simply tamp soil uh, shown on uh, in, in figure 1A. We have uh, the, the uh, the soil and on top of it is the base course and two levels of tamp soil okay now there's also concrete okay uh, again ours are just think uh, include okay, the the tamp soil could be improved using anthill clay cow dung lime or portland cement okay Next, uh, solid grade or solid or grade floors is concrete. Okay, so there are different mixes that can be used. You have one is to three is to six. Again, one represents the cement proportion, three is for sand, and six is for the gravel or the aggregate. Uh, we, this is this mix is used for light service operations such as deep theater building or subsistence farm dwelling. Now, the one is to two is to four is used for heavy duty service and these are for uh, areas that carry loads such as bag trains or the repair shop of a building now for areas such as uh, a creamery or a slaughterhouse or their acid there's acid um, based cause of the operations okay the one is this two is to three mix is uh, suggested 
just to uh, prevent the soil uh, or the, the slab erosion or the concrete slab erosion. So also take note of this uh, design. So there's an expansion joint because of the uh, heating and contraction, okay? Or uh, heating and cooling that uh, causes expansion or contraction of the concrete. So there's an expansion joint, okay? The aggregate size for concrete should be less than or equal to one fourth of the thickness of the slab. And the finish floor again, still 150 millimeters above the surrounding ground area. The, the concrete is poured on 100 millimeter thick organic free level and tamp base. And this tamp base could be a gravel base or well drained sand or laterite. Uh, damp proof barriers such as polyethylene or hot bitumen uh, could be used. Uh, bitumen is the is a uh, the the uh, byproduct of uh, petrol the petroleum in the industry and it's being used in asphalts. Okay, again with the same uh, aggregate that is used also in concrete construction. Okay, just as a small or as uh, uh, um, thin layer of this could be used in, as a barrier to prevent moisture or, or water to seep through. Again, uh, or also, we have reinforcing bars as a possible additional uh, uh, input in in the design to improve the uh, tensile properties of the concrete. So difference between uh, figure two and that of the one B is that this is the uh, figure two B is for concrete slabs for uh, poorly drained soils. So a different base over here, right? We have here the coarse aggregate and the sand and a sheath that is a uh, waterproof. The thickness of the slab would depend on the reinforcement and the ground bearing characteristics of the soil. Uh, a strategy to uh, concrete a large area is to divide the, uh, this into base and especially if there are, uh, it's a very long uh, or a very big area. What, what is done is the base divided into 2.5 to, to 4 meter long uh, divisions okay, as shown. And screeds, usually timber, is used as a guide okay, when striking or leveling the concrete is poured into a, a, con uh, a bay, okay? a division or a bay. And a strike board is used to level or, or float the surface of this uh, concrete, okay? the freshly poured concrete. Okay, so you move the, the, the strike board along the, uh, okay, in a, this motion when the uh, concrete is already poured over here. Uh, final coating is usually done a few hours, so we let the uh, concrete to stand for a while, and surface can further be broomed. Okay, okay. you can use a rake to broom this, so that it improves the 
uh, density dependence characteristic of the uh, the surface. For suspended, okay, for suspended or above grade floors, you have first timber timber floors, and this is a cheap option used when sites are sloping and needing a lot of land grading and filling to level the ground. And it needs protection against elements of decay, such as moisture, fungus, termites, and other eating insects, because primarily timber is a biological material. Uh, you have also the need for, for, for a spacing between the uh, timber and the ground level, because uh, this is for uh, ventilation and also during expansion, expect, inspection time by a person who will go uh, under the timber flooring. The thermite protection is effective if timber floor is usually above 45 centimeters above the, the ground. And there's the need for supporting piers as required because uh, uh, the 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 uh, wood should not uh, directly touch the the surface or the ground level, and this supporting piers could could be of different materials such as concrete, okay, or hollow blocks, okay, or stone, or even steel, but not wood exactly directly, and the joists okay, need cross wall concrete blocks okay to support um if the wood is more than five meters long or if the span is five meters long the wood timber span is five meters long okay the block should be 150 millimeters thick and well the uh, beams are also used to support the uh, wooden floors. For concrete, okay, this is a better alternative to timber because it's fire and sound resistant, but it also is costly and it requires reinforcement with first uh, mild steel main rods, okay, with distribution bars wired at right angles with the main rods. Or there's uh, a mesh, okay? That's also composed of main bars and distribution bars that are welded at crossings. For the floor finish, okay? This is usually introduced to enhance the aesthetics, reduce the noise, improve floor workability and cleanability. And there are a lot of options we use um cement sand skid a, a thin layer of cement and sand or a, you can have a granulitic finish okay and this is a very durable finish uh it's actually just one is to three of cement and hard stone chippings you can also use sheets such as um vinyl okay and also tiles such as wood, slab, and other kinds of uh, tiles. You have here in figure three, a wood floor over a concrete floor. And this is to uh, um, uh, make use of the advantage of both materials, okay? We have a concrete first and then a wooden um, upper floor or upper component of the floor, okay? Now the uh, concrete floor could also be replaced with a slab, a uh, soil slab that is stabilized. And for the wood, it could be also chipboard is also another option. But the important thing is we have here joists and um, clips to support everything uh, between the wood and the concrete level layers. All right, so that's all for uh, this lesson on the flooring system.
I'll be seeing you next time as we discuss the roof system. Thank you for listening.